job, if I may say so. You'll be sure to have it at the Undertaker's in time. Of course. The Scotch Express leaves Euston Station at 7.30 tonight. That leaves very little time for the arrangement of the body. Your mother, is it not? Yes. You are taking her to Scotland? Yes, Edinburgh. Her home. Oh. Thank you. Rather a nuisance. Traveling by train. Ain't it? I'm terribly sorry. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, Miss Vera, but it was necessary for us to search your compartment. Indeed. May I ask what you expected to find? A valuable jewel has been stolen. And a man has been murdered. We are making a routine search of the entire carriage and asking a few questions. Go right ahead. I understand your journey is rather a sad one. Your mother... Yes. What about her? No one's above suspicion. Who's there? Miss Vella, I want to ask you a few questions, and I must warn you. Anything you say may be used against you. Oh? Now, about your mother. It isn't your mother after all, is it? Perhaps if you explain. That coffin, we've examined it. And found the secret compartment. Oh, well, come on, let's have it. Have what? The old story. If you insist. The man approached me and asked me to take a coffin to Scotland. He offered me a hundred pounds. Were you aware that the coffin had a secret compartment? I was. What story did this person tell you to account for a man being concealed in the coffin? That someone had to leave London. Foreign agents were watching the train. Foreign agents? All right. Maybe I didn't believe that foreign agent story. You realize, of course, this makes you an accomplice. What was the name of the man who approached you? I don't remember. And Miss Vera, the man who engaged you to take this coffin to Scotland, was it by any chance? And it wasn't. Look, I don't know what this is all about, but I do know that i never seen this gentleman before in my life. I shall have to ask you to remain in your compartment until we reach Edinburgh. Uh, Inspector Lestrade.